Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. The egg is now in the possession of the one and only B00100. If you missed the live stream a couple weeks ago, as promised, I promised I would live stream and I promised I would fight the dragon and I killed it first try. I'm a champion! Give me the orbs of life! Now this is obviously starter world decoration. Ideally we get a lodestone there or something like that, but Hey, baby, we did it. We have the dragon egg now, which is amazing. Unfortunately, one thing we didn't get was wings. The fight in, in the preparation took a little longer than I expected, but today I'm going to go get those wings because we have some far travels to do before we do our building. Oh, be very careful, B-dubs. Today we're going to build the mountain that's going to lead us up to, to where we just were so we don't have to use scaffolding for it all the time anymore. A big, huge mountain that will go all the way there and all the way down. Yes, B-Dubs is doing it again. If we head back to the village, we'll be able to get a little bit of a look at why we have to build. Obviously, you know, it goes into nothing. So we have to have a mountain to uh, lead us up there for, for walking purposes. Most likely, we're going to end up flying. If we ever go up there, we're going to end up using our wings and rockets to get up there. But visually, whenever you build something, you want to give pads and places for the person that's looking at it to go. So if you're looking at that, you want to have a connection of like, oh, yeah, your brain says, I want to find a way up there. By the way, did you notice B-Dubs has a, 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 some new branding? You know, I thought it was time to freshen it up a little bit. My good friend Jay wolves at my door. He's always done uh, my branding stuff, and uh, B-Dubs has got a slightly new avatar. And also, keep your ears peeled, because we're going to be dropping some new merch soon. That's a secret. But this build is going to be pretty sick. I've got it planned out, and I've got a little bit of a tower design planned for right here as well. Oh yeah, we ain't done with towers, baby. So, at the end of the last live stream, I was wondering, oh man, how in the world am I going to get home? And everybody just said, break the bed. And I ended up doing that, but then I also ended up leaving all my stuff there. So, what do I have? Uh, nothing super great. That's fine. Uh, now, I have to make the long journey, because I didn't make a nether tunnel, uh, back to the stronghold. I'm not going to take any horses. I'm going on foot. <laughs> Right, before we dive in here, let's light the portal so we have an easy way back. I have set my spawn. Let's go in. Let's see how beautiful. Oh, the beautiful, gorgeous nether. All right, we're on a cliff. We're stuck on the side of a cliff. Good thing I brought my moss with me. Is a perfect building block. Oh, this is a nightmare, huh? Okay, take coordinates and we leave. Now that's it. We've got the screenshot and I'll, I'll get to it later. Now that we're connected, that's the worst spot. You might be thinking to yourself, B-dubs, oh B-dubs, why would you bring moss? What a terrible block. <laughs> I don't have a lot of everything, and I use stone a lot to build with, so this is actually going to help me get to throughout these islands. But here it is, where it happened. This is where B-dubs did his thing and killed the dragon. Uh, but now we got to find that little portal thingy that, uh, well... <laughs> it was literally right above our heads. Um, so that's convenient, I th I think. Okay, we have arrived. Is this the right? Yes, I'm doing the right. Oh, trippy, trippy. I, you know I've only done this once. Here I go. I'm on top of chorus fruit. Okay, here I, here I am. Oh my goodness, we can make end rods now. Oh, there's a lot. There's a lot coming from this. Oh, careful who you look at, B-dubs. Oh, 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 Beatles! We found one and it has a pirate ship. Oh, yes. Well, this isn't great. This is not great at all. We aren't. <laughs> it's just totally empty underneath. This could be bad. It could be very bad, but we'll see, I guess. You know what? Because I'm going to try to sneak in the bottom. I think I can sneak in the bottom like a like an expert pro. <gasps> I made an advancement. That scared me though. And yes, I can hear there are some boys in here. There's obsidian right here. 
That's fine. That's fine. Here he is. Okay. Ouch. And there's the wings. He teleported. This is the second pair of wings I've ever gotten by myself. Oh, baby. And oh, I'm rich. Oh. All right. We kind of need. Yeah, I need to get him. Um, if I break that, there we go. Okay, that's fine then. That's fine. Everything's fine. Two. And yes, did I get one? I didn't get a shell. I don't have the thing on me that get, gives an ultimate uh, confirmed drop every single time. Okay, there's a shell. There's a shulker shell there. I've done it. Oh, baby. Let me down. I switched out. Chest plate for Elytra because I think it'll be very valuable. To have a light right now. All right, let's. Where is he? Aha! I see you. Ouch. Okay. And did I get anything? I got another one. I got a shulker box. B Duds is in the shulker box business. Would these things get off me? They're gonna. Ah, yes. And here it is our first shulker box. Oh, yes. What a fantastic day this is. Ooh, we have to get the dragon head, head too. Don't we? Oh, and the dangerous thing. Okay, this is dangerous right now because I don't have rockets. I had rockets and I left them. I don't have rockets. So if there's no ground beneath us, we're in a little bit of trouble. And gimme. Yes, we got the dragon head. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, now, I think I'll just try to get a couple more shulker boxes. And, uh, play it kind of safe, though. All right, get in here. Hello, sir. Ow, I ran right into him. Yeah, yeah. And give me another shulker box. Shulker shell, yes. Oh, fantastic. Okay. And... I see you. Ah. Yes, another shell. Oh, we're rolling. We got another shulker box. Okay. Okay, here we go. This is the mother load. Oh, he teleported. Okay, I'm about to get blasted by these things. Yep, keep shooting. Yes. Okay, here we go. We fly. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Okay. They're all teleporting. Okay. This is fine. Okay, heal. That's so many. I think I need to retreat. I can't. Oh. Hey! Hi! Okay! Okay! I got another! Where am I going? Aha! And safety! I'll breathe- I'll breathe here! There is an ender chest in here? Wait a second. Oh, I do have rockets! Yes! Oh, okay! All worries are gone now. It's a cakewalk from here. So we're back home now. And we have these wings, and the dur durability is going down very fast i think under here um villagers yes yeah, sure enough under this pumpkin where else would you keep your villagers of course you have a mending trade it's a terrible deal but i'll take it do you have unbreaking you don't uh-oh now i don't treat all of my villagers poorly not all of them but most of them from the looks of it any oh no unbreaking as well uh oh yes i've done it I've done it. I've done the impossible. I have... Yes? Unbreaking 3. That's what we're all here for, baby. And you're locked in. That's right. So, now we have the perfect wings. You need... You really can't use them without the unbreaking 3. There we go. Mending, unbreaking 3, perfect wings. That's what I'm talking about. Now... The whole reason we're doing this, well, we've got quite a bit of exploring coming up in our future for the next couple episodes. But for this one, I've been missing out on something very important, and that is mangrove trees. We're, of course, going to need other trees coming. I don't want to generate too much of the world. There's a lot of stuff coming in 1.20, so I'm being very selective. Uh, but... We need to head off into the world now. Oh, look at this beauty. I love you, Tower. We need to head off into the world to try to find a mangrove swamp forest swamp. Oh, no. Oh, 
Oh, that what a moment. I did a cool fly job through that tunnel right there, and then nighttime, and I just got here. This is mangrove, right? Yes, that's mangrove leaves. Oh, my goodness. He was, um, so you, for those of you that don't know, <clears throat> tons of mud out here as well. For those of you that don't know, B-Dubs is playing on Extra Large Biomes World, and we are currently, for those of you that care about F3 screens, at seven, negative 7,000, negative 12,000. Wonderful, wonderful. Oh, it's fine that I had to travel so far, and half of my wings are already gone, and I went through all my rockets. It's fine. I'm glad. I'm happy. Yes, Propagul, you will come home with me. Me? Oh, there it is. Okay, that's what I wanted to see. I wanted to check out the water because every biome has a unique water color, you know, and that is unique. That's, that's unique. I think that, yeah. Th oh, especially underwater. That's a cool, that's cool. I like that. Um, but yeah, still not my favorite place, but all right, 20 mangrove. Propagules right there. So that'll give us the ability to grow this tree. And everything else, you know, we'll get this stuff from it, which I kind of need, and I need the leaves because I'm making a tree, a special tree today that needs these blocks and uh, upcoming builds definitely need the mangrove. But I don't think we'll ever have to come out here again unless we decide we want to make a kingdom or something like that here. But that should be our last visit to the mangrove. Oh, home sweet home. Oh, baby, we made it. We're back with the goods. I love this view. There, You know, rain can be very frustrating in this game and annoying, but man, oh man, at just the right time, in just the right place, it can, it can feel amazing. Okay, so let's grow our pop, prop, 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 how? Why you not grow? Let's wait for that to grow and let's talk about what we're going to build today. Of course, we're going to do a mountain cliff, a massive mountain cliff right here. And we're going to do a better job than we did last time. This is good. This is fine. This works perfectly fine. But notice how the tree right there is very, very small. I had to make it small because a normal size tree dwarfed this mountain i wanted this to look really big and uh it wasn't so we're going to double the size we're going to go twice as high and we're going to do some interesting things with the texture now this is all stone remember last week when we were talking about this building when you see things from far away you can get away with using some colors and textures that you might not normally like wool or something like that something that doesn't look like stone you can kind of squeeze it in there because you really only see it at a distance and this mountain will be the same. So we're going to use these colors. We're going to use light gray wool for the brightest, brightest parts on the cliff and then work our way from andesite, cobblestone, stone, mossy cobblestone, and then the darkest will be tough and I don't want to break this grass, but I will, acacia logs. So we'll kind of go like that. Uh, and it'll be, I'm, I want to kind of build it in a way that these colors and patterns kind of work in a vertically streaking way. Now, last but not least, I forgot <laughs> the, the special boy. We're going to squeeze some of that in there. This is where it'll get real interesting. This is like normal gray mountain from a distance, but you get this in there. It brings in some of that earthy tone. We got a little bit of this brownish and a little bit of this greenish which will make this mountain, I think, look a lot more realistic. Oh, it just grew in front of me right now. Just It just now grew. Did you see that? You, you wanted to show off for the people. What a beautiful model of a tree they've made with the mangrove trees. Oh, they did such a good job with the model. SMH my head. Man, B-Dubs is saucy and spicy today being mean to Minecraft about mangroves. I'm so sorry. They're wonderful and beautiful. Anyway, it's time, without further ado, for B-Dubs to start building his gorgeous mountain. But before we do that, how about a little treat from B-Dubs the Magician in today's commercial break? 
Spring has officially sprung, which means there's no better time than right now to improve your web presence with a website. But B-dubs, I would have to be a computer magician to know how to make my own website. But fear not, because uh, Squarespace is here as your website wizard to help all of your website dreams come true. With their custom templates, you'll be able to choose from a wide variety of modern and sleek designs that are going to help your website stand out from the competition. And the best part is that um, <clears throat> you're going to be able to customize every aspect of that design to fit your unique needs. But wait, there's more. You can embed your videos from a third-party host directly onto your website. So no more sending your customers to other platforms to to other platforms to view your content. And last but not least, analytics. With Squarespace, you can learn exactly where your site visits and sales are coming from. You can analyze which channels are most effective and build a marketing strategy based on based on your top keywords. Ooh based on your top keywords or most popular products. So, if you want to look like a website magician just like I do, check out the link in the description or go to squarespace.com slash b 100 to get 10% off your... to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. I'm flying! I'm flying in building with B00 single player world. I fly! How awesome! How rare! I never get to see him from this view. Hello, you! How have you been? Thank you for not falling down. Just don't do it. Never. Never do it. What do you think of the view? Oh, baby! Let's go! And stop. And don't get copyright strike for perfect tonality. There you have. There you have the first stage. And I think, I mean, look at the difference, huh? This is what I was talking about, that we're mostly going to see this from a, a distance, just like this here. So... We were able to squeeze in terracotta and stuff, and now it's all just kind of softly blending in together, looking so nice with those earth tones. And a thing that I forgot to mention, I'm over the dirt and the grass. I'm over it, way over it. I have so much moss. I can't believe it. You can't believe it. It's so much moss. So I'm covering the, the, the it's moss on top up there. The whole thing's mossed. Although, let's go look closer. Gonna shriek real quick to save my villagers, of course. But, as I was saying, when you're building these things that you're like, okay, this will look nice at a distance and I can get away with some things. By the way, don't mind that dirt. That's, um, we're gonna put a tower right there. And that's, uh, <laughs> that's for a marker for a floor. But, um... I did keep in mind that I will, there are some areas that I will be walking by and seeing a little bit closer, like this here. If we ever do walk up here, I made this kind of cool connection to the old terraform thing, and I gotta, you know, clean up this stone and stuff. But I made this archway connection thing. That's kind of a visual uh, thing that you're gonna look at, that I'm gonna look at. So I didn't do as much terracotta in there, and I tried to make it look a little more natural. Of course, I'm going to cover this thing in bone meal to get, like, you know, the grass and foliage and stuff around. But I also, too much moss kind of looks a little cray. Like, that's, that's a little trippy looking. So in here, I did mix in some grass. Not on the edges. I like this green grass or green looking edge, but on the inside I did mix in some grass just to keep it uh, from looking too same samey. But over here, whoo, I got a sprint weird. This is all a work in progress at all times. We're always working on this, always working to improve. I'm going to work on a connection here. 
Um, because, like I said, I want to make a tower. And I think we've got a semi, you know, decent spot where we could maybe make a little path right there. But I've already kind of planned out with this coarse dirt a little bit of a path going up here. Oh, missed a spot. And a place. There we go. Uh, but I have a little bit of a pathway leading up here because I want to have a tower that will go from here. This would be the floor and it would go up and lead us to the top of the mountain. Let's see if I can go climb my way around. Yes. So this will also require some path. <laughs> I'm going to need to do some some path work to make this trip, although now that we have wings, we might not walk this very much. Uh, but you can still get up here, and there's our dragon egg at the end. But the tower would come up right about, yeah, there's where we were just standing. So it'll come up here and come out and over. So we have two ways we could get up. We could get up through the tower or just, you know, kind of traversing up the mountain, which I think is cool. Putting a tower here will also help balance both sides. Uh, but I just wanted to kind of, now that I got the terrain done, I was really wanting to talk to you guys about it. The bone meal will also help. I don't have any bone meal on me, but it will also, ha, huh, it will also, <laughs> this is very breaky full. I didn't consider that. The And of course, this is all filled in underneath. That uh, wasn't hollow. Uh the bone meal will also kind of help break up this kind of trippy, consistent moss, persistent moss look. Uh, so that'll be nice as well. But now time. Oh, what a view we've got. Let's go look at it from a distance again. Yes, I like that. I like that very much. Okay. I'm well, oh, well, let me tell you about this too. Oop, missed a spot right in there. It's tough when you do these little overhangs. I also tried to make this rock look a little more textured and get like some cracks with the acacia, the very darkest dark, to make some shadows in there, which I think adds to the detail and makes it look really cool. But anyway, it's tower time. There's some cool composition stuff that I'm planning with this tower that will go over, but I build it right <coughs> now. You know, just because I have my wings doesn't mean I'll never ride my horsey again. I love horsing. Oh, baby, there we go. The new tower is up. Now, obviously, not as large as the other one. A fraction, uh, a fraction of the size, but very tall, high in the sky because it's built on the mountain. I think that looks cool. And I got made it kind of where the rocks look like they're, you know, supporting it and built into it, even though they're on the same level. Now, also, you can see I put some trees in and the benefit of upping the scale and making it so much bigger. These trees aren't dwarfing the mountain anymore. They do still kind of, which makes me think even bigger might need to go even bigger. And we've got room. You know, this is a work in progress as we go. But the trees add that nice organic feeling to it, make it feel a little bit more natural. The tower, really nice. But here's the composition that I was talking about. So from about here, or even back here a little bit, you get this really cool thing where the mountain goes up like this, pointing towards the tower. And then this path, totally different color, really stands out. And then it wraps around. So you get these two things kind of pointing to this tower, which is really cool. It's a subtle thing, but it kind of helps draw your eye, which I think is pretty neat. But yeah, there's the tower. It's very simple. You know, nothing super... Uh, oh, this bad jumping horse. <laughs> Goodness sakes, this horse can't even jump two blocks. I remember this. Okay, I remember. Uh, but here we are, up at the tippity top. So let's just take a quick look inside of the tower so we can get a feel. Obviously, you know, I just put some uh, safety rails up, which they look good from a distance. They work out nice. But you take this stairway down and you get to that part that I was talking about that kind of wraps around here. So like I said, we'll have to work out some sort of entrance there. But then you come up this path and then you can go here. I was thinking maybe we could have a down too, like a go downstairs as well. But I think this is pretty nice. I like it in here. 
There's one last thing that I want to do. Ooh, and looking at it from this way as well looks kind of nice. I like that. I want to do something else. Let's do this, and let's do this. These look like little guys, little golem statues, right? Uh, I had an idea. Let's see if we can pull this off. If we go like this, and then this, and then, oh, I already had the candles on me, and then, oh, I'll place the candles like so. That'll be the best way. There we go. Oh, yeah. Give me that block. That's a nice way to kind of light things up up here. I, I was kind of wondering, like, uh, should there, how do you do lanterns or, or you know, uh, what's the best way to light this path or should it even be lit at all? And I think this is a really cool, unique way to do it. And if we get to some flint and steel, we can just right click, right click. And it brightens the candles a little bit so it matches that color just a little bit more. And let's step back and take a look. I think this is going to be cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they look like little little uh, legless uh, statue boys. Holding the uh, holding the the candles, but it's almost like a Spears type thing. Actually, I'd kind of ooh. Okay, I'm gonna do my patented trapdoor trick. All right, push me down. Now I can place it facing up like so. Yes, maybe this will look a little better. This is very niche. Doesn't really matter too much. But yeah, that looks cool. I like that. I like that. But ladies and gentlemen, I think that's gonna do it for me today. We did some cool stuff. I mean, we didn't build, you know, this huge archway thing, but still quite a lot of building and I think a really cool build. And we got wings and we got mangrove stuff. We did some major traveling. By the way, all of that traveling I did purely so I could put mangrove leaves because they contrast really well in here. And I don't know if you can see it right there. There's some muddy mangrove roots <laughs> in the tree trunk. Just slightly. I like these trees, these kind of dead looking trees that don't have, you know, leaves all over. I'm sorry, Hossie. I think they look cool. They look a little more realistic. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. I love you to death and we'll see you in the next episode.